Hello everyone. Tonight on Adventures with Paul we have some supplemental information that I wanted to add in. We're in the middle of printing another one of my long mounts for PC board. And I wanted to show exactly what I do on the ends here. Now it's moving fast and the nice thing about this uh, printer is we can slow things down. So I want to put it down to about 40% or so. So you can see now we're moving nice and slow. Now, will take me a moment to get unscrewed, but I'm going to get a blob of goo out of the bottom here. And without stopping, while we're still moving, I'm just going to paint this right on. Yep. Smoothing it down. I've got, this is the fourth layer just starting right now. And my sludge is still pliable as I'm spreading it here. I'm going to press down a little bit. And have a little bubble there. So it's just like caulking a tub. There, I've just seen the last of the acetone actually evaporate off on it, so that's nice and solid now. I'm going to get another little blob of goo. I'm going to run down to the other end. Okay. Try to do this quickly as it's moving, but ah, this one lifted a little bit, so I'm just going to rub it right under there and press it down. Clear out again. Difficult to try and keep it on camera while I'm actually doing this. Okay, we are solid down now. It's not perfect. I could probably use just a little bit more right there. Just a little bit. Right in that area as the head goes by. There, that's solid. I'm now cemented down nice and tight on both ends, so I will dial my speed back up to 100%. Here we go. Um, 100. There. All right, so we're up and running. It's uh, 24 minutes in that I was able to do that. That was the first three layers down. This takes an hour and 40 minutes to run, so assuming my uh, extruder doesn't clog again, everything should be fine. This is the third for the night. Um, it's number five of the total that need to be done. I need to do a total of ten, so this is the halfway point for these. Um, one thing I wanted to show, um, another feature on this, having this front panel, it's like I got my ramps board. And those ribbon cables lead right into the back. So can you see them here? Yeah, I got a piece of paper blocking. The, the lights were giving me a headache, so I just put some paper there to act as a shroud to block them. But anyhow, um, aside from setting speed, it's a rotary encoder, so it bobbles around a little bit, but you press it and it gives you a menu. And we can change things. We can stop print, pause print. Um, we can tune as it's running. And I got the speed at 100%. The nozzle temperature is 250. It's 260 for the first layer and 110 for the bed temperature on the first layer. And then for everything else it's at 250 and 100. The other... I don't know, slow back down. The other thing you can adjust 
is uh, the fan speed. I'm at 200. That's 0 to 255. And flow. You'll notice it's at 90%. It starts out at 100%. Um, when it's doing the first layer, I take a look just to get a fine adjust on my Z offset. I want the, you want the plastic to switch down to the bed a bit. Um, but if it squishes down too much, you get like lines between the tracks where the head actually drags through the plastic. I can adjust that flow setting down to make the first layer nice and smooth. Um, I've been, rather than going in and changing the E-steps, I've found that 90% seems to give me the best results. I mean, my, uh, hello dog, my finished pieces have some fairly nice tops. So that's with the set at 90, and I can, I can tweak it as it's running. I can change the speed, I can change the, the flow rate, um, all kinds of things. Uh, bed temperature, all that sort of stuff. I can change the temperature of the bed or the nozzle right now. But I wanted to get this in just to show exactly how I'm gluing things down. It seems to be working very well. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? There's nothing else really I want to add in this video. I wanted to make this a little quick one just regarding um, how I'm getting things to stick down, how I got past the curling up the ends issue. Um, I'm going to be doing a VESA mount. It's a big X. It'll cover most of the base. It's like six and a half by six and a half square. And it's got a much worse curling issue than what this part has. And I'm hopeful that this method of gluing things down um, will work as well. So that's it for the moment. Um, more as it happens.